Good afternoon and today's little episode is um, I painted this last week last weekend what's today it's Friday today so it's had about five or six days to cure it's been in heat I've had the three fires going uh, three fires three heaters going for um, about seven hours because I meant to do this this morning but I got tied up with something else so I didn't get around to doing this so yes the heat has been going in here for about seven hours and it is absolutely sweltering <laughs> um, so the idea was to get this sanded and try out um, the petrol resistant lacquer just to see if it reacts with this paint before I go on to paint the tank which should be which should be tomorrow's um, painting treat I've marked it out where I want the pattern to go where I want the red to go on the tank and um, oh wet and dry Yeah, where I want the pattern to go on the tank, and I've marked it all out, wrapped it all up, ready to paint, and then thought, I've got to sand that first, and I've got to wet and dry sand that first. So, as I say, this is the test piece. A lot of people were saying, don't sand your base coat before you... Um, before you apply your lacquer just leave it half an hour or so for your base coat your color coat to cure and then go straight in with the lacquer which if it was a single color that would be all right but as half the tank petrol tank is black and the other half is going to be red I can't put the lacquer on until I've done the second colour. So, as I say, I'm going to test it out on the cow. I've got a bit of 1500 wet and dry. And I'm just lightly going over it. to get rid of any of the roughness and also give the lacquer something to key to is the theory now if it looks like shit on the cow I obviously won't be taking that technique to do the tank Yeah, there was um, there was one website I found. I can't think of the name of the the guy that posted, but he was saying the same. Don't um, sand after your base coat, after your colour coat. Just go straight on with the lacquer. And further on down what he was saying he actually states that if you're lacquering old paint then just give it he said 2000 grit so I've gone a little bit more aggressive than he was stating yeah 2000 grit um, just to give it something to key to and it's like well if you can do that to old paint what what age are we saying the old paint is? And does it make a difference if the old paint is um, a week old, a year old, or 20 years old? See, that's given that quite a dull finish. 
which is scaring me because it's like well the lacquer is a reflection of what's underneath so I don't know whether I've just copped all that paintwork up or not try a bit of panel wipe on that and see if it is dust in the in the paintwork Yeah, really up my depth here. So I don't know whether I've just wrecked that. Let's go to the 2000 grit. Right, this is actually 2500 grit. So. Try a bit of that, and I'm just running it over. I'm not putting any any sort of pressure on it with my hands. And also, I'm using a new microphone. I've got a um, directional mi microphone with its big fur coat on noise reducing fur coat and hopefully you're hearing me you're not hearing the radio so I don't get any strikes for playing musical content I'm not licensed to play on my YouTube channel still a dull finish but it's beautiful when there's water on it <laughs> but as I say the what they're saying on the internet is not to worry too much about the dull finish that's okay because the lacquer makes it beautiful so got a chance that it is a uniform dullness and it certainly looks better than it did with the 1500 grit so, I think I'll panel wipe that, hang it up, and then give it a test run. And hopefully, when the, um, what is it called? Petrol resistant lacquer goes on it, it will bring it up like that when it's wet. Hopefully. I'm going to stick my stickers on first as well. I've got my stickers to go on the side. Okay, that is the prep work. And that has got a double finish. <laughs> so I really am hoping that when the lacquer shoots onto that, that um, will bring it to life. Yes, yeah, so please bear in mind, I am I'm just a crane driver. I'm just a bloke who does a bit of this for a bit of a laugh. I don't take it too seriously. I'm not looking to create a show bike by any means. And if you watch a few of my videos, you'll notice that. But I do what I think 
I'm going to like. So that's that's what I do. And so long as I like it, and you get <laughs> entertainment <laughs> or enjoyment out of it, that's a bonus. Right, I'm going to switch on my extractor fan, very powerful extractor fan, and then I'm going to spray some coats on this, and then I'm going to get out of here. One very light coat to start with, I'll leave that 10 or 15 minutes and then I'll come back in and do another one. And already that extractor fan is doing brilliantly, but I can't smell that at all. Yeah, 15 minutes, it says on the can, 15 minutes, that's upside down, you can't read it, ha ha ha, but 15 minutes. So I'll be back in 15 minutes. Okay, so back to coat number two. First coat was just a thin coat, so this one will go on thicker. And then another 15 minutes. There you go, coat number two. A much thicker coat, so I need to get out of there a lot quicker. I hope it will stay that glossy. It's beautiful! Okay, back to do the third and final coat. As I say, that stays as glossy as that is. That will be top notch. So, let's say one more fairly heavy coat. Sort of as much as I can get away with without it starting to drip. I think I've got away with it so far. Yep. So yeah, another heavy coat. And then that'll be it, and I'll leave it out here with the heaters going for probably about an hour and a half, two hours, then take it indoors. So yes, leave that another 15 or 20 minutes. No, that's lying. So yes, leave that about an hour and a half, two hours in this environment with the extractor fan sucking any dust out so I don't get contaminants and the heat is going absolutely boiling in it um, and then I'll take it indoors and stick it in the spare bedroom to cure for about a week I might only let it cure for 48 hours and then try it with a bit of polish and see how it's come out but um, yeah, a couple of hours out here and then, as I say, taking indoors in the spare room to cure in a nice warm environment for a long while longer. A long while longer? A long while longer. Say that quickly when you're pissed. Anyway, enough. Okay, that's had uh, about two hours of curing in this heat. And now I'm going to take it in my house and keep it in the upstairs spare room to cure some more but that is super glossy and I've also managed to retain the cracks <laughs> hopefully it won't crack further but um, yeah, I do like the effect of the crack, so, yeah. But there you go, there's, there's that. And, as I say, it did come out, when I sanded it, very dull. And now with the lacquer on top of it, it's shiny as anything. So, that does give me confidence in sanding down the petrol tank um, probably with 2000 grit well this was 1500 then I went 2500 um, yeah so 
yeah, perhaps 2000 grit. I'm really not going to know how this has come out until it's fully cured and lived on the bike a while. And it, it does say on the on the tin, give it two weeks. Um, cannot be overcoated after one hour and should be left for at least 48 hours before allowing any contact with petrol so it's got to be at least 48 hours before you get any petrol on it um, and then it says any petrol splashes should however be wiped away as soon as possible allow to harden for at least two weeks before polishing so it's weird that it's 48 hours before you can actually get petrol on it but two weeks before you can polish it very strange anyway I'm going to leave that upstairs upstairs? <laughs> well it will be upstairs, it'll be upstairs in the spare room um, for at least a week before it goes back on the bike um, even then it won't go back on the bike because this week I'll get the colour done on on the tank That'll be left for a week, sanded, and then lacquered next week. And then that needs leaving. God blimey, won't have the won't have me won't have my bike back on the road for three weeks. By then it'll be Christmas. Because what is it today? It's Black Friday today. I've had a day off. It's Black Friday. And um, got all the Christmas shopping done. Didn't find any real bargains, but um, we got the Christmas shopping done. Um, so, what is it today? 27th? Yeah, 27th. Um, so, yeah, it'll be close to Christmas before I get the bike back on the road. But, I will adhere to the drying times and if it takes two weeks to pro properly harden there's no point having it in the shed in the cold and still not using the bike until it's fully hardened so I just will have it indoors is the theory behind it. Anyway, before I start touching that anymore I'll take that inside and then I can turn all these lights and everything off in here and stop wasting electricity. So, that's it for today. Video tomorrow on colouring, putting the colour on the um, petrol tank. That'd be quite interesting. Well, it will be for me. <laughs> it might be for you if you indeed watch it. Anyway, that's enough for today. Ta ra!